Dear students, today we will focus on how we can create forms in Microsoft Access. So, uh, in the table, as we have seen in the last modules, we have a table and we have a design view where we define that how fields would look like and then we try to enter data in the table directly. So, form is basically a portion uh, which is in between your actual table and yourself. So, it is an interface where you can enter different uh, data and then that data can be stored in the table. So, here you can also perform different kind of formatting. You can also add different kind of controls like buttons, some check boxes, combo boxes, etc. So, in today's module, we will start creating forms. We will uh, uh, re, uh, try to understand some of the things, some of the controls like combo boxes, check boxes, label, images, charts. We will also practice that how we can add header and footer, uh, date, time, logo, and title, and a little bit text formatting to make the forms uh, really impressive. So, let's start the practical. So, here we are. We have the course table, we have student table, and we have this table which has number of things so when we uh, talk about uh, creating forms we need to go into create and then we can create forms so let's try to see that what will happen when we create form for table 220 so it is showing us all of the fields on this particular screen and let's first try to save it in fact, this is a little bit bigger table. So, let's try to make it for a smaller one, maybe for this one, so that we can understand that what are different options available. So, for example, we have created form for it. So, course underscore form. So, there is a new tab forms and here we have course form. Again, right click on it and go to the design view. So, in this design view, we have all of the information in detail over here and then we have form footer and header. And then as soon as we create uh, the form, there is another option known as design that has appeared. And in this design, we have number of controls. So, for example, we can add different type of controls in this form. So, let's try to make some space over here. For example go to the control and then for example you can add a button over here okay so this is the button that will find next in this form and then for example uh, there is another control this is a label so, we can add label above the form saying that this is course information form and we can also select this thing and go into home and then we can apply some text formatting on it. It's not at the moment available let's come back to it again over here for example we can perform different type of formatting right so whatever being entered in this should be like this and so on and now this is also available so for example i say okay this should be this one 20 no it's a little bit bigger 12 and different kind of things which we can perform over here right centered right and we can also uh, use other controls like uh, we can use list box some navigation control some combo box so for example if i add a combo box over here like this and i say okay this is added from here right 
right and I said that the data is coming in this combo so such kind of options you can make for a user who can click on different kind of things for example there is another control known as checkbox so it is a, a user interface in which you can add different things and there are different properties of it which you can try to see over here and then uh, you can click on forms and then you can see uh, some other possibilities which are uh, available over here like you can insert some image so let's try to insert some image if it is available somewhere no it's not here so if there is any image available so we can add that image as well on our form so for example if i am going on to the desktop and let's see no i'm not finding an image like this is some some image so for example i am saying that add this image over here so that image has been added over here you can add your picture even uh, here and then you can save this form and whenever you click on it so now you can see that different things are shown over here and then you can process this like this using this control as well so this is a button and we haven't added any functionality on this button but we have made available some of the things like this combo box was bounded with course ids and we can also add a new record over here so for example when we click on it so now it is asking course id so for example i'm saying 105 and like i'm saying it's uh, programming and the uh, number of credit hours are three and as soon as i click on it so it should be saved so now if i go into the course table it's not still saved over there so first of all i need to click on it so it's not uh, in this table yet although we have added 105 so these are different options which are available on this form using these options we can uh, really make an interesting forms available for our users on which they can work and they can uh, really see that how the things are happening on the forms right and we are saving the forms and then we can again go into the design mode right then we can go again to the right so this is the possibility which we have discussed then these are the tables and this is the form which we have created and this form is really giving us uh, an at attractive uh, interface on which we can really work uh, to uh, save time for our user that he can enter values in user friendly environment uh, in the tables and then we can also add different codes uh, in these buttons as well using javascript or different languages so which at the moment we will not be covering in this course so we were just interested to make the forms so dear students let's conclude uh, this module we have created a form and that form has number of options images we can also add the charts uh, combo boxes and uh, we can also add header information and footer information 
uh, logo and we can also perform different kind of text formatting as well.